In this video, we uncover what's causing this painful problem. This cow was trimmed just six weeks ago, and when we trimmed her last time, she was absolutely fine. But when it comes to this back right foot, she now has a problem. This cow story is a little different to what we usually see on this channel. You see, this cow is a dry cow. In other words, she is not milking just now because she's heavily in calf and due to give birth at any moment. When cows are as close to the point of calving as this cow is, farmers give them a much needed rest and some TLC. So this cow wasn't in with the main herd. She was away having some respite and while there, she's had some kind of accident resulting in this cracked heel and the problem we've all just seen at her toe. My suspicion is that the problem down near the toe will link up with this heel problem. And right now I can see the sole of her foot starting to change colour. It's a telltale sign that underneath here, there's a cavity. And what do you know? There is. And it's absolutely full of this ooze. I'm going to strip away the layers of hoof horn, covering up the cavity and the problem beneath. And I'm going to do it as gently and carefully as I possibly can. Now that we've removed a large portion of this cow's soul, the problem is clear for us all to see. Her entire corium is infected inflamed and actually open to the elements. I need to wash this off so that I can understand exactly what I need to remove, but more importantly, what I don't want to remove. Make no mistake, this is not a minor problem for the cow. This is something that will be truly hurting her. But luckily for the cow, it's also something that we've dealt with an awful lot over the years, so we know exactly how to fix it. In the pursuit of the perfect trim, I've grazed her corium slightly, leading to a little bit of the claret. This will be insignificant in her recovery, and overall this trim is shaping up really nicely, although admittedly, it doesn't exactly look very fancy right now. This block is going to take the weight away from this sore affected claw, and the iodine will dehydrate the soft, exposed layers of tissue, allowing new hoof horn to form underneath. We're wrapping it with salicylic acid and this biodegradable bandage so that she has every possible opportunity of a full recovery. Then all that's left to do is remove the excessive length from these dew claws, using my trusty nippers of course. This is done in an effort not to attract slurry. These dew claws are a result of evolution, from cows walking on soft pastures. When the grass is heavy with water, the cow's feet will sink into the soil beneath it. The dew claw is acting like an anchor and preventing them from going too far into the ground. In the environments these cows are in, there is no danger whatsoever of the cow's feet sinking into the concrete. Unless, of course, it's been freshly poured. 